a new project, new site we're on. What's your estimate? So I actually did a portion here for some soil borings the other day. Just for this little portion, it took me about two to three hours by myself. Um, now we're doing about four to 500 feet for two different companies. I'd say maybe a day. So about a day, about 10 hour locate. Anytime you guys locate it, you always want to ground out first. Pretty good, I'm reading 14, almost 14 million. So that's the only tone I got. So I'm right next to the water main and I'm reading two feet, my belly is 10, so it's not bad, not bad at all. The nose right here, so it must be running right next to the water main or on top of the water main. Or the locator bled off, that's my comment. Go mark out the communication lines. Looks like we have coax and fiber. So we have three lines in there. One has to be feeding a uh, a business. 
Milliamps, good. See right here. Oh, you can see it too well, but I'm reading 22 milliamps, and you can see where my gain is only at 56. And I'm reading about 22 milliamps, two feet. This is the only place where I got the tone, so I know this is my cable going that direction. <laughs> so you can see it's going to this pedestal right here baby step in the bend I baby stepped it because my tone was getting kind of shitty right here and I gotta go and right to this pedestal. If you would have, if you would have went any faster, you would have bypassed it and most likely bled off onto who knows what. So I'm nolan this line back to verify my peak mode and you can see it's right next to the dots so my null and my peak agrees with each other so that's how you know you're right on your target line when your peak and null agrees see right here it's run on an angle this communication line. So now I gotta try to find out where the angle is. Cause you see my dots all around the place. So now this is a good time to baby step it. To catch the bend. See where my previous dot is? It might not my new dot cause I'm baby stepping it in. It's right over here. So sometimes, folks, that's what you gotta do. Sometimes you just gotta stop, think, and, and baby step the cable in. Or you go mismark it and get the damage. All right, right here, I'm gonna do a 360 sweep uh, to catch the third line. So I know the other line just goes east. And the third line should go to this building here. Per what prints, per print. But we always do a 360 sweep to verify it's going to that building. Because sometimes it might just go into that building. It's gonna be roughly about 40 feet away from all my equipment because it gets congested closer to the pet. So the farther away you're away, the better it is. So you see I got my other tone right here. One foot. And I'm at, I gotta clean this, 9.3 milliamps. 
So I'm losing a lot of milliamps because I'm pushing out 100. I should be at least reading 60 here because I got 22 going the other way. And you can see where it jumped up. I didn't move my gain up at all. I just left it where I had it at 55. And I had to bump it down because I picked it up. And you can see where I'm reading right here. I'm reading 60. So that's a really good tone. So I got 60 milliamps. I got 20 going west. So that, that's 80. I, I'm, lo I'm losing 20% of my milliamps somewhere. So I got to find out where that other 20 is going. The other 20 might be going into the ground. Cause I got, I'm pushing out 100 on my transmitter. I should be pushing out, I should be picking up 100 total while I'm about 30 feet away from the, 40 feet away from the pedestal. So I should be picking up 20, at least 15 summer. So see if we could try and find that 15 milliamps. Okay, here's a good tone here. Let's see if we get. All right, I got 11. So about 12. So that's 90, 98. So this is my cable here, and the rest of my milliamps, I'm losing it to the ground. If you have any questions about this, leave it in a comment. I'll be more than happy to explain what I'm talking about with milliamps. I think in my prior videos, I talked about milliamps, how when your receiver, how your receiver should be picking up the milliamps, what you're pushing out. If you push it out 100, you should be picking up 100 on, on, on a receiver, but you lose a lot too. Hey, um, we need a wheel from the end of the building out this way, 400 feet, so we know where 400 feet is. Okay. Because I, I don't know where the other contractor stopped right here. So we need to um, see for the second contractor where 400 feet will be. Okay. You got a wheel? I don't. I have a ruler on the. I got a wheel on my truck. I have So you can see in this, you can see two orange clowns that do it, sir. But we have a three way, and you can see one buried down here, but you don't see nothing over here because it's most likely buried underground. But you can see the cables that's but you can see the cables going down there. That's how guys get damages, they don't look into the handhold, they just see these orange conduits and they think, oh, the print's wrong, and it's only a two way. But you gotta really look and you can see the cable down here where it's running. It's running out at this end. And you can barely see the orange conduit. So it's always good. And here's the orange conduit Barry. It's always good to get in there and look. So you're not getting any damage. There's fiber optics down here. So we got a three-way. Print only shows two in and out. But apparently this one here is going out this way, probably feeding this building. We'll find out when I hook up, I clamp onto it and locate it. And you know, anytime you have it, guys, you want to catch right at the end of the conduit so you know you got the cable going out.
to my 360 sweep again. About 30 feet away from the box this time. And I got a really good tone, really good tone in the road. Let's finish the sweep. Another tone next to the curb. So we got two tones out here. One in the road and one by the curb. project what'd you say you said 10 hours I said 10 hours two people and we got it done with how long about four and a half four and a half hours guys four and a half hours took us to mark all this shit out i mean folks there's a lot of stuff out here and this is part of the locating so when you guys become a locator after a while expect to be doing log extents like this project like this i mean Four hours, we had to get it done. Contractors wanted to start in a couple days. What else you got to say? Got to say that phone, man. That phone was pretty difficult to locate, not to mention you got that electricity, and then you got some water and sewer mains on top of that. So just a congestion of a lot of utilities, hard to find which one you're really trying to look for. A lot of congestion, yeah, because he thought he was bleeding off onto the ComEd, but we got the at t right onto the electric line. So it's not bleed off, it's stacked. You got you got Edison on the bottom about four feet, five feet, and then you got AT&T two feet. So this is how they do stuff when in, in a congested area. They have to put it on top of their little utility. I just gotta say that this this if you have a strong mindset, then you locating is definitely for you. But if you don't, don't even try, man. He oh, says he says don't overcome locating if you don't have a strong mindset. All right, guys, we're all done with this project. Please like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it below in that little box area. Guys, peace out.